Hello, wonderful people and places. My name is Dionysius Yuki. I'm your favorite little sister crossdresser. This is my standard routine. For those who are sensitive, there's the door because this is a very raunchy routine, so let's jump into it. So who in the audience knows what hentai is? Okay, I see only two of you have sinned. Hentai, for those not in the know, is animated Japanese porn. Okay, on the story. So I do everything, stand-up, music, acting, and I'm an actor, right? I do a lot of acting things and back when I was taking a break from the professional stuff I looked at a lot of amateur projects just as a hobby to fill my time and I thought, saw a fandom of a Japanese show which is like an English fan made translation of a Japanese work for a horror show called Tokyo Ghoul and I looked at this I looked at all the scenes and all the graphics and I chose to do the scene with cannibalism for my audition thinking this can't go wrong it went wrong so it's an audio only audition, I'm adding all the sound effects I can, I'm adding whips, gnawing noises, chewing noises, you can hear me ripping apart the bodies, them falling to the floor, and I send it to the guy, he looks me straight in the eye and he goes, Dionysus, what the fuck is this? And I go, uh, s sir, it's my, um, it's my Kaneki audition for Tokyo Ghoul, and he goes, oh, I'm so sorry, I thought you sent me hentai. As you can guess, I didn't get the part. I studied Japanese, you know, I have uh, a lot of friends from there, and one thing I noticed in Japanese is that in English, you know, I sound pretty normal, I talk like this, but in Japanese, my voice comes up five octaves. So in English, I'm like, hi, hello, Japanese is like, hetta desu! I sound like a five-year-old girl. In Japanese, there's a couple different ways to say everything. I always use the polite way, I always bow full fall down. It was just a polite way to say everything, but in English I'm like shit shit fuck fuck damn damn shit. One thing I notice about Japan is that all my American friends seem to think it's like this monolith of a culture, like it's all one thing, which confuses me because as someone who has a lot of friends from Japan, I know how diverse it is. Could you imagine if someone did that with America? Like people always go, oh, I love Japan, Stacy. I love Japanese culture. Like imagine if someone did that with America. Oh, I love America, Stacy. I love American culture, bitch, which part? One thing that I notice about America is our news reporting. So whenever I do find news that tries not to be biased, they feel the need to over explain both sides of the story, which kind of gets on my nerves a little bit because could you imagine doing that with most news reporting? Like, no, there is a political truth there. I don't know, Joey. Jerry, Jason the murderer, he killed three people, but let's hear what he has to say. I remember when I was first getting into stand-up, this alt-right stuff was in the news everywhere, and I remember, as part of my routine, calling this man a Nazi. Um, you know, I got a lot of feedback from that, and a lot of it equated to, not everyone who disagrees with you is a Nazi! <sighs> If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck and, you know, quotes Hitler. You know, they do the little armbands, they do the little sig hail, the leader is a self-admitted white nationalist, which is the rich man's racist. I'm sorry, not everybody who disagrees with me is a Nazi, but Nazis are bad! My family is Jewish, so normally I don't have to defend that option too much. You'd be surprised how many people will jump to defend Nazis. I mean, you know what they did, right? I remember my family a few years ago, I was at a bar mitzvah, which is like a Jewish coming of age thing. And I was 21 and my sister, who is a very, very aggressive person, is 17, and we were sent exiled almost to the kids table. So I remember awkwardly going over there with my chubby self. You see a chubby man, you know, who possibly is trying his best and a 17 year old girl fuming at the mouth Walk over to the kids like, hello, my fellow youths. We are also of your kind. It was the most awkward experience. I remember at one point we were at the buffet and a few 12 year olds cut in front of her. And she goes, oh my God, Adam is just taking me everything in my power not to clock these bitches. I'm like, whoa, a few kids cut in front of you at a buffet. They didn't kill the Pope. I remember I was drinking all my seventh cup of coffee that night. And my sister goes, no, Adam, if I can't be addicted to things, you can't be addicted to things. And my sister's been on hard drugs. And I go, whoa, in what world is drinking too much coffee comparable to cocaine? I'm Dionysus Yuki, also known as Adam Stethlick, and that has been some of my stand-up routine.